Hey YouTube, coming at you today with something a lot of reloaders don't like talking about, uh, and that's reloading mistakes. Uh, today we got some 300 blackout. These are the mistakes. All right, what we got here, 300 blackout, Acme bullets uh 245 grain um and what happened was i misread my reloading data from previous reloads and sat these too long overall length these are currently at 2.15 and they need to be 2.06 so luckily my mistake was not a dangerous one uh, as these would not chamber. As you can see, when they went to chamber, I hit the landings here and just hit the barrel uh, chamber here, which rubbed off the plating. Um, so in other words, when I went out to the range, which is about 30 minutes away, went to go in battery and noticed right away that the battery did not lock. Uh, so, you know, pulled out that one, looked at it, Pulled out another one, and hey, same thing. So obviously my frustration got the best of me as this was a wasted day at the range. Hour round trip, half hour setting up. But it happens. So came back, frustrated, wondering what I did wrong. Why the rounds were way too long versus previous rounds that weren't too long. That's why all these are loaded because I had a round that I liked and it worked. Came back, referenced my chart. I keep a chart of every load that I've ever done with extreme spreads and velocities and temperature and all that jazz. You know, weight of my powder, what bullet it was, what brand it was, all that kind of stuff. And found that for some reason, I loaded these at 2.15 when it should have been 2.06. Okay. I don't know if you can see that well, but you can see the difference there. All right. Chambers does not chamber. If you're just getting into reloading, um, there's a couple things I recommend. Um, a, obviously get you some reloading information, books, uh, charts, whatever it may be from a reliable source. Uh, I have a couple books. I got the Hornady. Uh, I got the Lyman. I think I got a Lee floating around here somewhere. Um, plus, reloading dies normally. Come, I know Lee does. They come with some reloading information about uh, L's and powder charges and starting, you know, stuff like that. Um, but what you should do is, for whatever round that you're loading, get a case, size it, and then cut a relief mark or a relief cut. On the throat all right and what that allows you to do is you know grab a bullet put it in there and see how i can move it in and out but it's pretty stiff all right so what you do is take this bullet load it into your gun into your chamber obviously a safe round no primer no powder and go ahead and close your battery. And what that's gonna tell you is your chamber's maximum overall length for your round, okay? Now that is not the same as the specified rounds overall length. Like a 300 blackout, I believe is 2.26 or 2.23. Anyway, what this does, again, tells you your maximum overall length for your chamber so you can avoid that. So after finding that out, my mistake, um, obviously I came back to reload some more 300 blackout rounds. Okay, These are all chambered. They fit my case gauge nice and loose. Uh, one thing I will say about the Acme, um, I will not be buying any more of these bullets. Um, I got about 150 or so left. I'm not even sure I'm gonna reload them. 
uh, because I had to do, even though I got nine here, I had to redo a couple of these because they would not, they would not go into my chamber gauge like this one does. It comes out freely like it's supposed to. But a couple of them I, I had to force in there, and that's that's a no-no. Um, and there was, I couldn't find anything wrong with the bullet. Now the the cast of these bullets aren't the best, um, especially around the base. Um, I notice there's a lot of shaving, which I don't like because I don't want any lead showing in my bullets because that's just going to let up your barrel and your suppressor and just a lot of extra cleaning that you just don't want to do. Um, so I haven't really decided. I'm, I'm going to get some reload data and figure out what load works best for each, so I can have it in case I run out of bullets and that's all I have left. So I'll keep them, but I don't think I'm going to reload them unless I have to. Uh, just too much pain. Um, so these are the 194 grain Lee Defense Maximum Expansion. Um, I've seen a lot of videos online about these. Um, I have shot them before. Uh, I just got my uh, big block of clear ballistics gel from clearballistics.com. Uh, so once the weather clears up, right now it's nice and rainy and nasty outside. But once it clears up, I'm going to shoot these into the gel uh, and see what happens. Um, I would like to get my hands on some T-Rex, Maker T-Rex, but they're sold out. Um, it seems like their pedals don't peel off as much as the Lee Defense. But again, I got... 200 of these so once I find around a load that is accurate and gets me about 10 50 feet per second I'm gonna load them up and then that will be my my varmint round for you know fox coyotes you know whatever's around here these are the again the Acme 245 grain uh, high-tech coated lead cast bullets uh, again a little bit of a pain because after you get all done reloading and it still doesn't, you know, case gauge well, uh, it's a waste of time. So these are going to be my go-to for plinking. Uh, these are the Barry 200 grain Spire Point plated bullets. Uh, two reasons I'm going for this. A, they chamber well. I have not ran into one yet that does not slide in and out of my case gauge. Two. This is the bullet that I'm going to have sighted in my gun, right? My, my varmint round. Well, if it's a 145, I obviously shoot a 245 is going to affect my accuracy at any distance. So I figured if I'm aiming or sighting in for 194, 200 is going to be my best bet. Um, and again, just for plinking, not, you know tournament shooting or anything like that that the boys are into but again that and these seem to be a lot more in stock than other rounds so so berries is uh spitting them out pretty good again i'm gonna uh make another video of you know showing at least what i do to pull these rounds and to to capture the powder and stuff like that because obviously everything the uh, powder's coming back but primers definitely you know, primers are gold right now. And luckily I stocked up a couple of years ago before all this crap happened. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. God bless. Be safe.